This is Dauntless, which is a free-to-play Xbox One X enhanced title. Uh, it brings an improved resolution. It doesn't really mention anything about HDR support or 4K, so I'm assuming it's just slightly better looking. Uh, yeah, we're here on launch day. And what's really neat about this game is that it's got uh, full crossplay. As you can see, we've got Xbox user there at the Xbox logo, and there's some PC users here as well. It's supposed to be between all platforms, but I haven't seen anything PlayStation wise, so I don't know the exact word on that. Uh, but yeah, uh, the servers are probably getting pounded, but even before that, when it was a little bit earlier in the day, there's still definitely uh, performance issues. I find that the server issues seem to be more in the fact that. Uh, the game takes forever to load, uh, or really even matchmake. The matchmaking is like really slow in this right now. It was a little bit quicker earlier, but it still wasn't very fast. So uh, this is the hub area. You're able to do like some quests, and it kind of guides you along when you're starting out. And then you can talk to different people. Like that guy was like a weaponsmith. Here we have somebody for armor, and you can just build better types of armor and uh, kind of customize your character. Because this is a free-to-play game, they've got like season pass things, and they've got. Uh, you know, kind of loot cores, I guess you could say. Uh, yeah. So what this is, is basically, they, they frame it as a bit of a hunting game. It, I wouldn't really say you're hunting anything, but uh, you're going onto these little slightly, you know, small to medium sized areas, and then you're going to go fight a big monster thing after you collect some plants. That's really what this is. I do think it's sort of a, a lovely looking game. I like the aesthetic. I just wish it kind of ran well. And I've been hearing things where it doesn't run well on other platforms too, but I haven't personally checked it out. So yeah, we got the store and everything like that. Uh, you can also customize your character at any point. Obviously male, female. I picked this stunning looking character, but yeah, you get all kinds of different customization options that you can change at any point if you would so like. I should have been matchmaking the whole time, but I wanted to kind of give over the big spiel here. So just to show off how long it takes, but hopefully it's a little bit faster. So these are kind of what's available to me at this point. Uh, we're going to do, uh, we'll do a Blaze Behemoth. Or is that not, no, we'll do the Shock one. We'll do a Shock one. So then you can search for a hunt. You can do a private hunt. Uh, you can see your friends online too. And you can see across the different platforms and everything like that. And you can create a guild if you'd like to. And then you match make. So you can chill around the hub while the game looks for uh, something for you to go fight. And uh, hopefully we'll find that sooner than later, or otherwise we'll have to make a bit of a cut for sure. I want to get in there to the pub. But yeah, it's kind of cool. It's a little over the top. I think they were trying to dig into the whole sort of Monster Hunter style of gameplay with this one. At least that's what I kind of think they were going for. You also get this sort of start menu here. You can see the, the hunt pass and your quest log, and there's a, a map. You're already matchmaking, yeah, of course. Uh, load out, and then you can kind of come in here, and you can pick like a different outfit. Uh, there's modifications to this. Oh, I'm always visible. I don't want the. You can like uh, dye things to different colors if you. Uh, well, I assume you have to pay for stuff, but yeah. Uh, you know, you can kind of customize it and everything like that, which is sort of neat. Uh, you can put a defense skill, uh, increases max health, and then you can get a, a bonus for your character uh, by doing stuff. And I guess that finishes off this quest for the middleman. Yeah, they're just kind of like silly little things to get you out there and hunting. And as you can see, it's taking quite a while to match make. Uh, yeah, so we're just going to do a, a skip to win. Uh, we actually do find... Nice work. A match, which is going to be a lot more fun. I guess this is also good to kind of show off some of the, the narrative type things so we can look at this. Alright, cool. So we finally got into a game. This is many hours later <laughs> from when I started matchmaking. Uh, I guess they've kind of fixed up the servers. The performance is about the same at this point, and you'll see that when we get into the game. But what happens is you matchmake, and then you end up in this lobby, wait for all the players to join in. And then you ready up, except for this one guy that's decided not to because he's got to think about his life or something. You can also adjust your loadout at this point in order to edit things further. Uh, you get the full details of your quote-unquote hunt, but you're kind of just like going into a small little area and you're looking for a beast and then killing it. It's kind of hunting, but not really. 
Uh, there's a lot of variety within the environments. You get a lot of different little island chains that you go to, and you see, uh, again, variety. You know, just a huge variation within the actual creatures that you are hunting. Uh, some of them are like ice based, some are like fire, some electric, and they, they kind of vary. Again, going to that uh, as you progress and play along and unlock new different hunts to go and do. So you move through these areas, you can click stuff from the plants if you need to. But other than that, you just kind of get in here and then you go and you find the thing and you fight it. They're not huge worlds, but yeah. Eh, I guess a decent size scale. Some are larger than others. And you can hit up these things and they kind of accelerate your uh, your roll in here and the jumps, obviously, as you can see. Uh, if you notice, the uh, the players in our party are shown at the top left. Looks like I got a bunch of PC players. There's not really, like, as to say classes, but you do uh, get different weapons and stuff and differentiate your characters as you go. There's chatting on the bottom left. Top left is your health and your sort of stamina. The big kind of sword, which is really cool. Bottom right are your potions. You can make more potions and place them there. And, uh, yeah. So it looks like we found what we're looking for, and then we can kind of, you know, let people go or know what's up with the flare. Oh, there's like the whole emote wheel in in general, I guess. So we're going to get in here, and we're going to fight this thing. Uh, and yeah, that's kind of how it is. It's, it's a, very much a brawling type thing. This one's kind of a weird little creature. So yeah, a lot of it is kind of dodging, getting in there, hacking and slashing, and dealing with the different things. Some of the enemies are more dynamic. They'll have like little minions that come out. Like the ice guy, uh, he had minions that would come out, and then you'd have to kill the minions, and then you'd be able to do damage, but only then, because he had, like, ice ability or something. I don't know, it's kind of weird. But you got to balance your health and your potions and your stamina, and then you build up, like, an ultimate meter, which I'm kind of doing. You can see that's that blue thing. Now I've got it going. You see it's right below my health. And, uh, yeah, now we're going to unleash that, and we go into, like, a bit of a more intense rage, and we can, like, deal more damage, obviously, that's the whole point of it. So it's really just kind of sitting here, slamming and mashing the, uh, the buttons to kill these things. Your, your hunts are usually, like, under five minutes. They're not terribly long. And that's just kind of what the game is. I mean, it's neat, because, I mean, you get to play in, like, co-op, and it's got the whole cross-play section, but again, it's not really anything too wild. I guess there's, you know, uh, like, a ch fair challenge. If you like the core gameplay, you know, there's so many different types of, like, monsters you can fight. And you're always trying to get better items and work towards stuff. And, well, you can also pay your way through, but you know what I mean, right? It's, uh, it's a very specific type of thing. I just kind of wish the performance was a bit better. And the, all the hiccups, uh, just server-wise on the first day were kind of, like, eh, really off-putting for this. I don't know, it's just kind of like an intense long battle. Well, it's not terribly long, because you don't do much. I just, I wish there was, like, maybe more dynamic elements to the actual kind of gameplay, just like what you do to get to a boss. It'd be cool if it was, like, a mini-level type of thing, where you had to fight other monsters to get to this or something. Most of the time, you're just in here, and you're fighting these things, and you're improving your masteries and stuff like that. Uh, the world does have a level of, like, destruction to it. Like, the big monsters can come in. And they can, like, knock over trees and stuff. And you can also kind of dynamically mess up these monsters, too, as you cut different parts of them. You actually see, uh, and I hope you're seeing that right now, if you look closely, uh, there's a certain fatiguing element to the actual creature we're fighting. You can see him getting cut up and, and scarred. And I, th I think there's an achievement, too, for... Uh, I can't get up here. There's an achievement, too, for actually... I believe killing one after you've done like damage to all the different body parts and stuff. Something like that. And I get the super ability going up. Looks like our guy's getting healed over there. Well, I'm doing all the work. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little bit tougher of a character. So obviously you gotta be careful. I mean, you're coming in, you're mashing, and your health will go down if you're getting hit. And, uh, yeah, different loadouts are going to help with different monsters. I mean, obviously, you know, fire against ice and stuff like that. And that just it, uh, adds an extra layer of dynamic content to this as you're dealing with these different creatures and their environments. This is a, this is a tougher guy, I'll give, I'll give him that. 
My team is just not as experienced. You think these PC players would be doing more damage? Oh yeah, and then you've got the whole airship fuel thing remaining. So I guess there is like a bit of a a time crunch too. But I mean, what else are you gonna do here, right? Oh wow, that's not good. I gotta get back into the fight. But yeah, usually you're a little bit smarter and you're like dodging around, but it's just easier just to come in here and mash away at it, use your health potions to get it done faster. I guess if you had more of a distance weapon, it'd be more beneficial, but my character's just kind of built for uh, gunning it in there and just slashing away at this thing. Yay, Slayer Mastery increase. Cool, right on. Yep. Immune to burn attacks. Great. I got like a bit of a buff going on, it looks like. Get some heavy hits in there. They're causing some pain to this guy. Get my super up. Yeah. I don't know, I, I think aesthetically the game's got a really pleasing look to it. Oh, do we kill him? What's going on here? Yeah, aesthetically it's it's a very pleasing world. It looks great. It's fled. Did we not we didn't kill it? Oh we suck. Uh but yeah, I mean you look at this environment. And again, there are different types of areas that you'll explore, different biomes, which is kinda cool. It's a little bit dynamic. But it does have like a clear sort of uh distinct art cartoon style to it that I think looks really neat. And uh yeah, it does sort of wonders for making this be something a little bit more unique of an experience. So we'll put that potion on here because we have low on health. Somebody's going to have to revive us soon. Well, me, but you know what I mean. Cut this guy up. This is just a little bit longer of a boss I found. Damn, sometimes they get like a, a cooldown period where they're um, a little bit more vulnerable, which is nice. Yeah, these guys, they're uh, they're tough things. And you just kind of come here and you just like wail away on it, and that's really what you can do. And obviously it's best to have a full squad in order to do this. I was hoping this would be faster like the other ones, as they're usually really quick, and I just think we're not very effective. Uh, and yeah, you kill it. And then you go on to the next, because I want to show off different creatures. This is a toughie. Thick hide, because it's like a Terra one or something. It is like a Terra. So yeah, they kind of cut the, the rocks as they come out too. But yeah, you can also be sort of smart with your meleeing too, where you're not as aggressive as I am running in there and just hack and slashing this thing as opposed to actually rolling around and being intricate and strategic. I don't know. It's got an attitude, I'll give it that one. But I sort of find this game a little boring, to be honest, because you're sitting here just mashing away at something for a long time, and it doesn't really get any more complex or distinct than that. I mean, this is literally what you do, and you just do it against different creatures. Oh, I've fallen and I can't get up. <gasps> Revive me, PC guy. Considering I think I've been doing a lot of the combat. I don't know, it's nice that they got their servers hooked up, so hopefully that's not a thing where it's like reoccurring where they're having problems. Because that was just painful today. Huge weights, bad loading. The performance still kind of leads a lot, or leaves a lot to be desired. Finally, jeez, there we go. It probably wasn't even that long, it just feels like a long time because you're only fighting one thing. Yeah, that was like nine minutes. See, we did bad, we didn't get a very, well, I got a bad rank, I guess. Our team rank was great. That kind of hurts my feelings. Then you get loot, and then you go on to the next uh, mission. You open up your chests, you talk to your different people, you finish your quests. And that's the life of it. Uh, moving past the servers kind of being like agonizingly slow, the game does run pretty quickly, which is nice, but yeah. Let's talk, Captain. 
It's moving past other issues, then we come back to the HUD. Yeah, let's do a different uh, pursuit here. Neutral behemoths, one to four. Let's do something fun like frost. No, let's do shock. And you, again, private hunt is an option that's available, and then you just match make and you do your other stuff. While you wait to find a game. Which is hopefully quicker this time. No, not really. Talk to me, Skip. See what's Let's in store. Free pack of dies from the store. Oh, we don't got time for that. We gotta jump into a match. And you can choose to abandon your hunt too if you don't want to jump in when you get the option. Because you're all of a sudden obsessed with something else. Yeah. So this should be cool, like lesser Drask, and yeah, things are going to scale a bit. I mean, obviously some of the bigger monsters are going to take more of an effort from you, yeah, but it's generally what it is. I guess we're doing two players because other people aren't available. Whatever. We got this, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be a little bit more distinct, I think, once you get some more armored characters over time and stuff, too. Gotta remember this is still like the early days of the game. Things will change in advance. Can we just ready up guys? Like what could you possibly be like adjusting at this point? Yeah, like a special health potion you're gonna be dragging in. Oh my god, come on. Ready up. I guess they changed their armor thing or something. Get in with it. I just kind of wish you could, like, kick this person. There we go. Now we're going to go on some things. Jeez, you know what I mean? And we jump down. And we're going to go fight something again. And you'll be able to see, the, like, the sort of subtle differences just in the landscape and everything as we come in. It's nice to have uh, variation in what we're doing. And I think the cross-play options are, you know, a good idea to kind of increase the uh, the player base over time. A bit more of a thicker forest. And uh, it just seems kind of like a little bit generally basic what you're doing. Running, fighting a monster, leaving. And it's not like you really have to do anything too crazy with that monster. You just kind of slash them and if they leave. You find them again. You slash them some more. Yeah. Anything down this way. I assume it's kind of a playoff of like Monster Hunter World, just kind of bringing it into a free-to-play thing, but yeah. Okay, it's not what we're finding there. In this weird floating island chain. What an odd uh, kind of environment to live in and deal with. Oh, I watched that. Yeah, let's keep rolling. But I mean, it's uh, it's kind of smooth to a degree. It's kind of neat for co-op. I'm just not too blown away by it. Flare up! But yeah, that's basically the game. You go in, you fight some creatures, you stab some things, you have a good time while you're doing it. Work with others. This really is what the experience is, guys. Going in there, finding the thing, and just hacking away at it. And hoping your other friends come and give you a hand so you don't have to fight something all by yourself. Like I'm doing right now. That yeah, looks like other people are into the mix. And, uh, I don't know, it's kind of fun, but at the same time, I don't really find it too thrilling or exciting. I guess it'll be really up to the individual whether or not they are blown away by what it has to offer. I do think the monsters are kind of cool, though. A lot of different looks, character models look nice, and the environment's kind of cool too. So, yeah, it's got some things right. I just wish the gameplay was a bit more in depth, you know, a bit more to it. But yeah, that's how it goes. 